Hello, I'm Seafood Source Editor Sean Murphy. We're here at the Seafood Expo North America, and uh, I'm outside of the panel that was just discussing seafood trends over the next 10 years. And I'm here with Professor, professor Daniel Benetti, who is the Professor and Director of Aquaculture at the University of Miami. Uh, professor, thanks for talking to us for a minute here. Uh, can, can you maybe go over some of the issues that you think are going to be key in the next 10 years in the seafood industry? Well, it has become clear that aquaculture, sustainable aquaculture, is the feature of sea, seafood production. Mm -hmm. okay? All the evidence is pointing in that direction. Uh, it's, the outlook is absolutely bright. We have evolved a lot in terms of technology, in terms of ecological efficiency, in terms of economical viability. We have technology available for a number of commercial important species whose fisheries in the wild are dwindling. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I think it has being recognized by the seafood sector that the future of seafood production is with sustainable aquaculture. Well, the FAO has said that uh, by 2030, you're going to have to, the world's going to have to be producing an extra 40 million metric tons of seafood to meet the world's food needs. I mean, you, you, arguably, you can't do that without aquaculture. You bet. It, uh, aquaculture is mainstream already. It's no longer the new kid in the block. It's already producing over 50 percent of all seafood uh, for human consumption. Mm -hmm. It has indeed last year uh, surpa surpassed uh, beef production, mm -hmm. 66 million metric tons produced in aquaculture and 63 million metric tons in beef. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's growing, continues to grow exponentially. Uh, we get more and more efficient in terms of sustainability and ecological efficiency. And also the economic viability, which is obviously very important, is also at hand. Anything in particular within the aquaculture field over the next 10 years that you think will be changing or that we'll be seeing more of? Well, the many species, for example, I use tuna as an as a example. Right. We feel that the feature of tuna is in aquaculture. And there is always going to be the wild tuna, of course, and the bluefin, that beautiful uh, beast that is sold at the Skiji market mm -hmm, in Japan mm -hmm. for a million dollars, right. etc. There is always yes. going to be that, that market. However, tuna is going to become a staple, just like s uh, tilapia or salmon or shrimp mm -hmm. or pangasius in the market. There's going to be a loin, one to two pounds, and everybody's going to have access to it, and they're going to be raised because the technology uh, is, there, is out there. We You're talking about tuna the steaks, not necessarily tuna. the canned tuna. You're talking about the well, steaks. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I think that, again, the, the demand continues to rise, mm -hmm. the population continues to rise, and uh, where are we going to get the tuna to eat? It has got to be from aquaculture. I think we'll be ready to do We're talking tuna as an extreme, but let's talk, let's talk about any and all other species. I think we, we're working on technology, we're making a lot of progress, and I think it's without a doubt the, sea, the feature of sea food production. Any other major trends coming in the next 10 years that you, you think we should be watching? The issues of sustainability are always, uh, you know, a big deal, and therefore it's not just a matter of produ producing the, the fish, but to, to get better at uh, producing at a lower ecological cost, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to ensure the sustainability of the operations in the long term, as well as the economical viability of the operations. And what is interesting is that the seafood industry is getting on board, mm -hmm. and it isn't, it's not going to be until all of them recognize that and get on board that this is going to happen. Okay. Well, sustainable fishing, sustainable seafood, and of course aquaculture definitely in the future, the next 10 years. You bet. Okay. Professor, thanks very much for your time. And keep watching SeafoodSource.com for more coverage of Seafood Expo North America. Thank you very much.